yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. Boy, Beebs, you've been rocking us. Uh, you got the old classics coming out. Gotta love it. It is March on Ohio Sports, and we've been talking quite a bit. In fact, does Zornis Ilgowskis joined us, uh, what, two weeks ago, Beebs? And I'm still getting thank yous. You know, my son goes to the high school where Z is a coach. I passed him in the hall the time. He goes, Dad, very, very cool. Z knows who I am. Uh, coach, uh, head coach pointed me out. So he said, thank you, Daddy, for me. <laughs> I mean, Z was phenomenal, That's wasn't great. he? He was and great. I, and the only thing, I, I don't know if I just said I asked him when I asked him if he sent Rashid Wallace Christmas cards. <laughs> he said, well, I don't send anybody Christmas cards. I guess Mrs. Ilgowskis does. All right, friend, we've been talking about the 18th Greater Cleveland Sports Awards, whether you're in Ashland or like Bill in Belleville and Barry in Belleville. This is a world-class event. It's happening January 17th, Renaissance Cleveland Hotel. Doors at 5.30. And I'm telling you, if you've never been to it, this is like something you'd see in the Waldorf Astoria or something in uh, Hollywood. That's how special it is. But there are a lot of different awards you're giving out. I just voted yesterday, Beeps, for the f- Amateur Female Athlete of the Year, the Amateur Male Athlete of the Year, a.k.a. High school or college or both, and for the pro of the year. And we'll see how my voting comes out when the awards are down. But there's also there's also the Cleveland Clinic Sports Health Courage Award. And a young man with us right now is presented by Medical Mutual and Huntington Bank. We'll get them all in because I want to thank them for sponsoring this award. Is Mr. Samer Babby. He is from North Olmsted High School, a linebacker on the football team. And Samer, this summer was, I guess to put it bluntly, was interesting and maybe not in a positive way, was it? I mean, it was trials and tribulations uh, personified, wasn't it? Absolutely. That's a perfect way to put it. And uh, thank you for being here, man. Thank you for having me. It's our pleasure. Delightful young man, North Olmsted High School. And Samer is a senior captain on the North Olmsted High School football team. Getting ready for his senior year. By the way, shout your coaches out to me when you go uh, when you see him tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Well. Good. In fact, this was the McCall was still at North Ridgeville. So this was in three years ago. Mm-hmm. I was a sideline reporter for you had won three games in a row to start the year, and so coach was saying, "Dude, you got to come to all our games. Yeah. You know, and get it going. You had good good football teams there. How's the new stadium shaping up? Um, I, we watch it every day. We see it uh, get put together more and more, and it's nice to see that. Happen. It'll be ready this year, right? It will be ready this summer, I believe. Okay, which means you will not get to play it. Yeah. Unless you go play some pickup football on Thanksgiving. I definitely will. One of those turkey bowls. I know you will. You're a gamer, all right? Yeah. But in the summer, just stuff that, you know, we'll be blunt. Life has ups and downs. Mm-hmm. That uh, stuff that wasn't cool happened. You started feeling just an insane pain in your jaw. Yes. Did it feel like you got jacked or like you were playing a game of football and, and it, somebody got you? It was just an incredible soreness, yeah. I felt like I was getting punched every oh. five minutes. And it never went away. It did not go away. Did you try Tylenol, aspirin? Did you give anything for the team? I tried I tried everything. And it didn't go away? It did not. So knowing you, you just dealt with it, right? Yes. Okay, hey, it's going to go away sooner or later. Yeah. But sadly during this time, too. Marty Simon, one of your coaches, mm-hmm. passed away from colon cancer. He did. And uh, just sad. Said, uh, didn't know him personally, but knew who he was. And did you get checked out during this time? I was seeing multiple doctors. Um, just because of the pain? Yeah, from the pain, from the soreness. Uh, from, you know, there was a visible, very large bump that was in my face and... I, you know, where I was it? Like uh, in your jaw? Yeah, right, uh, right in my jaw. Like you had a wad of chewing tobacco or something like that to just to, to describe it. Probably, it's like half a half a tennis ball sticking out of my face. It was big. Wow! Did it hurt to push it? Oh yeah. Oh my gosh! Mm-hmm. So you went to quite a few doctors. Yes. Finally, the pain was so unbearable, you went to an emergency room and had an MRI. Yes. What did it reveal, Sam? I know it's not pleasant, but. Um, you're an extraordinary young man. Thank you. It showed that, you know, it could possibly be cancer, but, you know, there was no way to tell what exactly it was, so they sent me in for a biopsy. And then what did you find? Uh, they at, at first they said it was leukemia, and they <sighs> told me to come in. After some further testing, it, the diagnosis was changed to rhabdomyosarcoma. 
No, I have never heard of that. That is a type of cancer in the tissues? Yeah. I, I mean, before this, I hadn't heard of it either. Uh, but it's a, it's a soft tissue cancer. Is it in remission? Uh, currently for me? Yes. Uh, no, I'm still going through treatment right now. And you're going through chemo and radiation? Chemotherapy, radiation, and I'm going to start some immunotherapy soon. Not the most pleasant things in the world, are they? Uh, yeah, I could be do, doing some more fun things with my time. How often are you getting chemo? Like my wife's a survivor, I mentioned to you, and uh, yes. boy, she had extensive chemo and radiation. How often are you getting chemo? Uh, it really depends on what they're doing. Sometimes I'll go in five days a week. Oh, sometimes, my gosh. Sometimes I'll only go in once. So it's, it's really... And you're still going to school full-time? I, whenever I don't have appointments, I go to school. How's school going? School's great. I, I try my best. Look at a smile on his face. Yeah, my teachers, they're, they're really cool with everything. They help me out a lot. So, One of your doctors even noted, pediatric nurse noted, that you're the most positive and inspiring patient they've ever met. And you always have jokes to tell you're always smiling. Mm -hmm. You could just be right now kind of ticked off at the world, couldn't you? Sure. That wouldn't accomplish anything, would it? It absolutely would not. It would be a waste of time and energy. So now you're going to beat this. I, that's the plan, yeah. Former coach, Marty, who passed away from cancer, has he inspired you at all? Absolutely. He was an incredible coach to me. And he uh, he never made any excuses, and you could not you couldn't ever tell what he was going through, and that is that inspires me a lot. How much longer are the treatments going? Are they going to wait to see and they keep doing tests to see if indeed they could pull those off? As of now, uh, we we were looking to end in May, possibly, but I'm going to be doing some clinical trials. Whew, May, so that's your whole senior year. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Going to hit you with this one. Tell me about this. Is, uh, you know, like we're having fun. Mm -hmm. And tell me about something very serious. I don't mind telling you, I'm getting teary-eyed. Tell me about the Chick-fil-A kicking for chicken. Um, so that actually was a mistake. I did the um, Kick It for Cancer program. Oh, okay. Yeah, for Alex's lemonade stand. I'm familiar with that. Yes. I, You know, they, we have people who pledge certain amounts of money mm -hmm. or just do flat donations. Um, but some people will pledge for every field, for every field goal we make. Um, How was your kicker? Was he good? He was very good. He was an excellent <laughs> kicker. That's what I want to check. I yeah. hope he didn't suck. No, he was great. One of my <laughs> one of my better friends. Okay, yeah. and he probably had more motivation to kick now, right? He said it was a lot of pressure. He said he thought about the kids a lot. Really? Yes. Because every time he kicked, people pledged money and they sent it in. Yeah, yeah, it was it was nice. I like that. It is very nice. We're talking to Sam or Babby. He is getting uh, an award at the Greater Cleveland Sports Awards, and that award is the Courage Award from the Cleveland Clinic, and of course, in conjunction with Medical Mutual and Huntington Bank. How did you find out that you were going to receive the award, and how did the Sports Awards, Sports Commission, all the good people there, Meredith Painter, David Gilbert, all of them, how did they find out about you, Samer? I think it started with my doctors and my nurses. They all recommended me for the award. So... Well, it came through in a big, big way. And you look at folks that have won this award. You're in some, some company here. In fact, uh, in 2015, one of your rivals there in the SWC, a young man named Colin Teach from Westlake. I knew him well, know him well, mm -hmm. and uh, went to see him often as a, as a youngster at the Cleveland Clinic Children's. He was a gentleman that uh, collapsed playing hockey. And had an aneurysm. So you look at uh, the company here, and uh, gotta, you got to be inspired. Marty inspired you. What else inspires you, Samer? I think um, my the opportunity to help others, you know, seeing the spot I was in and seeing that people look to me to, for example, when I was asked to do the um, Kick It for Cancer program, mm -hmm. you know, that honor is is something that motivates you a lot to see that, your actions in certain situations can help people more than they can help you. And I'm so you're looking at the big picture. Of course, you want to get better. You want to kick this, but you want others to join you in that too. Absolutely. When you see younger kids, and you're a young man, mm -hmm. are you 18 yet? I just turned 18 yesterday. Dude, that, that, <laughs> now see, I wish. Come on, Meredith, over the sports commission. We would have had a cake. We'd have sang happy birthday to you. It Thanks. really embarrassed you, okay? <laughs> Thank you. So you just turned 18. You're welcome. But when you see kid kids, 
you know, preschool in that first, second grade tears you up, doesn't it, when you see him sick? Do you spend time with him? Do you talk to him? I I know a few. One of my good friends, actually, her brother has been fighting cancer far longer than I have. And I went to a prayer group, actually, for him a week before I was diagnosed. And so you didn't even know what was wrong yet, and you were trying to help. Yeah, in any way that I could. Um, you know, to see what families go through. I spent a week in the hospital when I was initially diagnosed. Um, at, you know, now I'm an outpatient, but mm-hmm. before they knew that I had rhabdomyosarcoma, the, the treatment was in the hospital. You had to basically live there. And I, you know, it was a hallway just full of <sighs> cancer patients. I spent a week there and it was absolutely terrible. I hated it. I hated that I couldn't go outside. I hated that I couldn't talk to people. I hated the food. And I know that some kids, some of the kids I met in there, spent years in laying in a You were there for a week. I was there for a week, and I couldn't take it. And some kids, they are going through that for years. Did you try to fire them up? Did you try to keep them going? I or did. Did, you, did you feel like a heel a little bit? I, I did what I could, you know? Yeah. Because it's not an easy thing. It's not. It's an really easy thing. Not. I hear, too, you made all the football games this year on the sidelines, right? I tried my best to make whatever I could, yes. What do, Where did you play most of your home games this year? North Ridgeville? North Ridgeville, Westlake, you know, uh, other um, other home fields. While well, you're getting uh, getting ready for the new stadium, what number did you wear, man? 44. So you wore, you wore a real linebacker's number. I did. You know? Yeah. Do you enjoy What you play? What position, were, you, were you a Mike? Were you a Sam, Will? I, I switched between the two outside positions, the Sam and the Will. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you like to get turned loose and get the quarterback? Did Coach let you do that, that often that enough? Was, yes, that was my favorite thing to do. I, I mean, I weighed 160 pounds, and I was fast, and, you know, you don't typically find linebackers like that. No, just, you don't. I love I love getting after it. <laughs> well, you have to, man, especially when there's a 280-pound linebacker coming at you if he's pulling or running a counter tray or something like that. Yeah. You ever do that? You, you you come firing in, and you see one of the big boys there? You just hit them. That's all you do. That's I, You know what, man? And you know, I'm glad you said that. Because there are times, and I'm sure you went through it too. I don't mind telling you. Now, this is sixth grade, but it didn't get much more. Is that my coach had to put his foot on the scale because it was a 60-pound weight limit. Mm -hmm. And I think I tried to bulk up. I got up to about 58 and a half. And he said, don't worry about the weigh-in, okay? And he was standing right next to me. And, of course, the person's looking at the bars there. You know what I mean? See what it is. And I looked out of my corner of my eye, and he put his foot down just so have to push me up to about 61, 62 pounds. (laughs) And I always used to joke with people. They say, it's raining. I go, great. And they go, why? I go, because when I tackle somebody and land on me, it's not going to hurt as bad because the ground is going to be soft. Yeah. And uh, you get used to things like that. What are you thinking? How excited are you for the, the sports awards? Just to be a part of that, to be w- with, with great athletes, great people, too, that are going to be there. You know, I didn't even know how, how big of a deal this was. It's amazing. Even, That's what I was saying earlier. Even now, I don't, I don't think I fully understand how big of a deal it is to the Cleveland Clinic, for example. All these... I'm getting all these emails and these texts from these amazing people at the Cleveland Clinic congratulating me, and it's like everyone knows. So I'm, I am i don't know what to expect. I've never seen the awards before. It's just— It's a gala. It, it, it's just—it's it, an amazing time, and I hope, too, because I'm uh, bringing my, my senior in high school son to him. I hope uh, oh, wow. that you, he could get to meet you and uh, be inspired like I am from you. I hope so. I, do, I know it will happen. I know it will happen. Sam or Babby? Continuing radiation, considering chemo, when will you have this, uh, when you say you're going to the clinical trials, when is that going to happen? Well, I need to finish my current course of treatment, which will take about six weeks, and then after that, we're going to start looking for clinical trials. All righty. You ready for, ready for Christmas? I am, yes. It's a good time, isn't it? It is. I don't technically celebrate it, but I love to... The holiday season. Absolutely. It's a great it's time, amazing. man. It's amazing. Too bad we can't transfer that uh, whole year around, right? Yeah. It's, it's a shame. It is a shame. Samer, thank you for taking the time. Thank you for having me thank here. You for Favorite sport? I mean, you're a football player. Uh, as tough as it's been. Browns fan? Um, I don't follow professional, professional Whoa. sports. Whoa. Especially not the Browns recently. Because <laughs> of, yeah. It's hard to do. It is very hard. It's it's heartbreaking. So you just uh, hang out with your North Olmstead Eagles, right? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I love that. Sam and Bambi, we will see you on the 17th of January at the 18th Greater Cleveland Sports Awards. Thank you for coming down. Thank you for having me. It is my pleasure.